let's fast forward uh, to the real estate. Uh, you're doing a lot of big deals, man. Uh, making big moves, breaking barriers, breaking curses, and you know, as you just talked about, um, what was your start? What's your start in real estate as far as the business aspect? The business aspect. Um, okay, I tried a couple of different things. Um, I want to say what I started out was when I purchased my first home, my primary residence. That freed me up, right? Because unless you choose to live with your mother forever or your, or your parents or you want to live on a bridge, you must have somewhere to stay. Mm -hmm. Renting it to me is throwing money in the trash can, right? I think a lot of us make that decision in the beginning because we have lack of information and lack of knowledge. So that's where I come in and I fill the void, right? Mm -hmm. Warren Buffett says that the most important investment that any average American can make is through home ownership. Not through the stock market, not through anything else. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that, that's the number one investment, a place to live. Okay. I'm going off on a tangent here, but excuse me. So, well, I say renting versus buying, right? Mm -hmm. If you rent, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to I'm give it to you in the eye of an investor. Okay. We got A and we got B. Mm -hmm. If I purchase a property in order to turn around and rent it to you, right? Mm -hmm. And my mortgage on that rental property that I, that I bought or that investment property is we'll say a thousand bucks, right? Mm -hmm. Am I gonna turn around and rent it to you for that same thousand? No. No. You'd be a fool. I'd be a fool too. That's not, that's not good investing. Right. Now, if I turned around and rent it to you for fourteen hundred, now I got four hundred dollars in my pocket. You see, the thing about it is, you're paying someone else's mortgage or your own. Mm -hmm. So, renting versus buying. When you rent, you throw money in the trash. You can never go back and have action at getting that money. See, when you pay your mortgage, every month is two parts. You pay the principal and you pay the interest. Mm -hmm. Now, that principal goes into a separate holding or an account. You can always go back and put up to 75 or 80% of, of your equity. That's what it's called. What the home is worth versus what you owe. For example, you bought a home for $200,000. Uh -huh. You lived in this home for X number of years. You paid it down. Now you only owe 150. But your home now is worth 225,000. So now you have $75,000 worth of equity in your home that you can go back and pull 75 to 80% of that value at, at, at more than likely no cost to you. Maybe closing costs, which is 3% 3, 3 of most transactions. But from that but if you rent it and paid that same monthly payment you can never go back and get that money back, money back. Right. Okay. it's you throwing it away i don't the two don't line up 